safer6.co.uk sponsors of the haze hour well hello good evening welcome to each and every one of you it is yet again a thursday night and here we are it is factually Thursday, the 17th oh, of October. <laughs> wow, that side is working well, Keith. It is, yes, yes, uh, exact with the date. Yes, yes, well, there you go, right. you see. Cider, pear cider. It's a first for you, isn't it? It is, I've never had pear cider. And you enjoying it? Uh, yes, very nice. That's yeah, what we like to hear, it's always good stuff. As 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 everybody will see, we have, um, in, in the rectangular window <laughs> behind us, Kat's joining us again tonight. How are you doing, Kat? I'm doing very canny, thanks very much. Well, if we're going to talk Pat, where I'll ask the question, how's the dut coming along, Pet? Dut. Coming that? along. Can he look? See? Can he? Now, this is, this is an example of, of multitasking. This is what this is. She's partaking in the noble art of crocheting. Uh, crocheting. No, crocheting. It's like knitting with one piece of stick. That's what it is. And it's, it's, it's clever stuff, like Madame Lafarge. Um, yes. In the sale of two, in the tale of two. No, 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 no. In the tale of two cities. Cities. Correct. Yeah. Nearly got it wrong. I would never do that, would I? No. 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 <laughs> no. no. We've had. If 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 you're not aware, if you're watching this on video on demand, you're probably not aware that before the show goes live, we stream for five or ten minutes, just to let everything settle down, and we've had quite interesting conversations this evening, um, mentioning in no particular order salt. Uh, vanilla custard, uh, crocheting, um, Charles Dickens Tale of Two Cities, and Houses of Ill Repute in Grangetown. Get there for ten to nine, any time before a show. It's amazing what happens. It absolutely is. Um, oh, and Lament I was just put in, I'm not reading that out, just in case they're watching it, but you're right. Um, those people that are watching live will know exactly what he's just said. Those that are watching video on demand, he was being nasty. To two people that we know and love extremely well. Isn't that right, Chris? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you're frozen. Oh, there you go. We're back. It's it, it's Connection City tonight. This is is marvelous. Yeah. Absolutely marvelous. Um, we we probably really ought to talk about e cigs, didn't we? That's the purpose of the, that is yeah. the plan. So tonight, tonight, he said, going to one of the various. Uh, single shot cams that we have flying about the place tonight 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 we're going to be having a look at the new golden greek mod which is a, a, quite a change from the old golden greek mod it's called the just gg um, i did promise some people on twitter that i would show how to replace the wick and coil and what have you in the iclear 30s that comes with the vtr so we're going to have a look at that uh, I want to catch up a little bit on the Aspires. Uh, both Chris and I have got them, and a few other people as well. So I want to have a little bit of natter about that, a little bit, and and just generally chew the fat about e cigs here, there, and everywhere. Um, and I hope you will enjoy the show while we do that. Shall we do it the uh, all all three together on the uh, on the doodar of the what its name next door to the you know what I mean? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so this is a show that we like to call one, two, three. The Hayes Hour. I was going to say VT talk. I don't know. And we are live. Keith, you, you should have seen the head banging that was going on, the chair dancing, it was amazing, wasn't it, Keith? Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> just... He's sitting there, Chris is, Chris is bopping over here. I'm sitting there giving it seven down. And Keith's going, just this takes is just... my breath away. 
<laughs> and they resuscitating. I think it. I think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant stuff. Um, right. Where shall we go next? Yes. Let's 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 start. Let's start with the just JG. Now, the 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 just JG. If you don't know about the Golden Greek, uh, Imeo is a great man, hence the name Golden Greek, who has been turning out mods for quite a while. Um, Chris was one of the first people I ever came across who, uh, who'd actually used a GG, and she was a, quite a big fan, weren't you? Absolutely. Um, GG Grant was the first one I had, 2009. Um, still like GG's, I must admit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, the, the, the new one that's come along isn't a GG anything, it's just GG. And I took a little look at it earlier on. I'll just play that in. I'm going to take a look at a new piece of kit. It's just come from the Golden Greek. It's called the Just GG. And I've got it on close up cam. All ready to go. And what I've done is I've broken it down into its various different bits. We've got the switch. We have the main body here. We have the, the back cap, the bottom cap. We've got a kick tube. We've got what used to be the collector tank. And we've got a new top cap here. So let's have a look and see how this all comes together. Let's first of all take a look at the new tube. And you'll see that the the telescopic nature of it is quite different from what it was before as in this top bit doesn't come off or at least i can't get it off it does seem to be screwed on but i can't make it move let me have another go at it cloth required could be it's as good as in one piece it's very very tight in any way and the usual telescopingness of it all is there. Deeply cut threads, all stainless steel, and it all goes together remarkably nicely. Um, all of the machining does seem to be pretty good. You'll see that there's a load of engraving on that, which says the GG, and the serial number on this one is 1561. Um, on the back it says, made by MAO, and to my good friend, is what's all in there so let's uh, start putting it together let's before we do that look at the bottom cap this has changed quite a bit um, from what it was very solid piece of kit the vents as you can see there are two vents one here one on the other side and this is the center post which again has changed quite substantially the spring mounted center is not just a bare spring and everything seems to be gold plated it also has to be said so let's screw that bit in and then put that into the base unit okay Having achieved that, we then need to put in the switch. Now the switch unit is adjustable. Long throw to short throw. And the idea is, I think, I, what I've done anyway, I like a short throw. So I've set it as far up as it'll go. And you screw it in until it touches the center post and then back it off as far as you feel you want your throw to be. It's just fine in the threading. I've done this five or six times without any issue at all and then when you finally want to do it on camera it all goes to hand hand cart. Okay there we are. So in it goes that's touched I want to back it off just to turn and then screw this little screw here this little nut 
wants to screw in obviously you can adjust it on the fly and it's probably easier when there's a battery in so you know whether or not it's firing so I'm just screwing that down okay that's in position check it and the movement you'll be able to see is very 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 small not much at all and the locking ring locks as you would expect so we'll drop a battery in there so it's in place and we'll put that off just to one side the kick ring well it's a kick ring it's a ring that takes a kick and I've got a kick two in here um, that will screw on in the usual position as you would expect and again threading's all very good okay and so to what used to be called the collector tank this has changed quite a bit and I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this if I can to try and show you what's going on here all right now you will see there is a single air slot and you have this ring which doesn't screw it simply pushes and it pushes down completely down blocks your airflow off altogether and as it comes up and again adjustable on the fly with as you can see two little flats in there to help you do it once you've got it set it's not going to be easy to move it I don't think and you'll also see that the positive pin which has my fingerprints on it is quite large and comes to an adjustable center pole and if I uh, get my little screwdriver out you have got lots of adjustment there and that mates up with the new I suppose you would call it stealth top cap which again is adjustable but this time it adjusts by means of pushing so as you screw your device into the top it will push that down until it makes contact with the bottom but of course you might be you might be wondering why have we got this here well let's put it all together zoom out a touch and then go from there so my top cap goes on like so I'm going to screw that centre post back down and then I'm going to take this which is an Ithaca and I'm going to screw the Ithaca in till it's fully home and then just screw the whole thing together so it's kicked all right let's just give it a blast and see what occurs so here we are now for me I've set that draw a little bit too tight so let's go back and see how that is changed and literally all you need to do zoom in just a tad onto the air control ring is just move it up and it's dead easy to do with just a thumbnail move it up take a drag still too tight move it up and you could do this while you're taking a drag I suppose there we go right let's try now and see how that works out mm -hmm. that works remarkably nicely and in fact uh, yes neat is what it is um, I'm shooting this at stupid o'clock in the morning so I'm pro not properly awake but it is actually easy to get used to I'm gonna have a little bit more play with it during the day so it's back to Dave 
and Keith, who'll be sat over there, in the studio. And here we are, back in the studio. Um, just to, to clarify a few points from that video, it was done at Stupid O'Clock, and I do, I think, need to go to Closey Up You Can to show you where I actually went wrong. First part, if I unscrew the battery section off, this top section here will in fact come off. You just have to give it some humpy and it will, as you can see, unscrew, which means if you want to, you can almost go totally stealth just up to the collector tank with it. Um, I've set it up as it was with the, the kick in and ready for use. Keith's just been having a blast at it and I think uh, it's safe to say, Keith, that you, you reckon this is a heavy beast. Yes. Yes, quite heavy, but <coughs> I think you do like it as well. Yeah, I crit my pants is asking about price. So let's go there. This is not cheap. Um, it's on pre-order, I was on pre-order on Clouds of Vapor yesterday at $325. It's not Jesus. cheap by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it is beautifully built. You don't get anything out of it. No. Ah, well, that's because I've fastened the button down. So you just need to un unnurl that. Ah. That's the little safety switch on it, if you like. Um, yeah, so three hundred and twenty-five dollars. It's far from cheap. Um, <laughs> Lamental saying you can buy a house for that much. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. That's that's the price that that's the price on the ticket. That's the price on the ticket. Mm. It is versatile. Um, let me just explain one or two bits and bobs that I didn't cover in the video and I'm going to need to take it back off you Keith sorry and all that probably too complicated for my simple mind I, it's it's uh, it's not a beginner's <coughs> item that much is for absolutely certain it's definitely not a beginner's item but let me let me go back to uh, to close you up you can and then I can, I can show you one or two bits that I didn't get to in the video first off I'm going to take off the Ithaca and put that out of the way and then what I'm going to do is to take my squip which you might be able to see if I hold it sideways on you can see that the center post on that <coughs> sticks out quite away and it's not a pushy any outy one so what I've done on the top cap is I've pushed that center post up a little bit and I want to take this flush onto the top cap which is easy enough to do and as you tighten it down you can see it's pushed that center pin down a little bit and then we can go to screw it onto the just gg itself and it is now flush to the top if i can get this centered i can never remember where center is on here and zoom in a little bit you'll see that that's as flush as you'll get so it's ready to go so obviously it's not just for gg style products you can use it with pretty much anything um and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. have to say that's working rather nicely um it is a heavy piece of kit no two ways about it there Keith I'll let you have a play while we're on Chris you, did you manage to see any of all of that that was going through or is bandwidth limiting you tonight bandwidth is being a huge problem oh dear so it, I'm trying right now to open up the um, smoke guru site all right uh, where I've been informed on chat that it's quite a lot cheaper Plus, I would recommend if anybody is going to buy, they go to the Smoke Guru site. Yes. Reason being, you know, those horrible taxes that um, customs put on things when they come in from the US. Yeah, um, Mr. Kraken's saying 165 euros pre-order in stock. 
is what's there 165 euros uh, and that would avoid customs obviously because Greece is in the EU so 165 yeah. euros at uh, smoke guru in Greece which is much doesn't sound anywhere near 150 scary. quid yeah about 150 quid right. yeah yeah now as I say it's 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 got the kick ring with it which I rather like mm. it's also come with a gold button for the switch which I haven't yet put on um, that's fairly fiddly not massively fiddly but it'll take the switch is the same switch that was on the last series of uh, JJTS's so if you've got one of those and you want to use magnets or whatever it'll take all of that um, my feeling is that the build quality on this is the be is better than the last lot of JJTS's I had certainly I'm not seeing the voltage drops that I saw before and I'm getting a proper length of time out of the batteries with a kick in that I would expect so that's 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 not uh, not occurring it needs a little bit more time in the hand I've got to be honest but at the moment I have to say <coughs> it's like going back to an old friend it fits in the hand very easily and you can you can adjust it to suit anything you want it'll take any size battery basically I mean I wouldn't go down to 14 500s or 10 440s but certainly uh, anything 16 or 18 it'll take which I'm is just good. looking at the um, the brass and uh, stainless one. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty, very pretty. Now so we're, I'm, I'm, I'm attracted. <laughs> you, you are, are you? Um, <coughs> I'm being asked what the diameter is. It's 22 mil. It's the standard 22 mil. It's exactly that. Uh, there is a slight. Again, let's go to close you up. You can because we've got it. You'll see where the, the air control ring is. And let's zoom in. You will see that there's a slight bulge there. But it's 22 mil down the whole of the body. And then that slight bulge where the air control ring is. But when I, I mic'd it up earlier on, it de dead on 22 mil. So there you go. East Smoke Guru, 165 euros on pre-order. Um, go back to that it's I've got to say it's like having an old friend back in my hand you know um, at, at what I might well do before next week or the week after I might sit down and put the various different models of JD, J, JJ together that we've got and do kind of a compare and contrast and show, show a little bit of the history of it um, but it's reminded me like where we were a year 18 months ago Chris when the pair of us were I, I much prefer the top end it's much less complicated and certainly in terms of the ufs and what have you if you remember all of that it's a lot less complicated um i will say the ithaca again i'm not sure that's a beginner's device uh, but let's screw it in and it it does drop straight in without the uh, the 510 adapter connectory stuff on the bottom um, and it does make, I think, uh, quite a, a pretty looking device. Let's go back to close you up, you can, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, if I come out a little bit, and I'm well over time for adverts, but as you can see there, it's, that's pretty nice. I need to zoom out a little bit further, I think. That's a hybrid, I think. That looks like a hybrid, and it works like a hybrid. Anyway, there you go. That's uh, <coughs> that's just GG from the Golden Greek, um, and like I say, it's like having an old friend back in your hand. We need to take a quick ad break, and uh, when we get back, I think I'll have a blast at showing you how the iClear Thirty S, how you change the uh, the wick assembly in there, and if there's any any questions coming in from chat, we'll take it. Um, <laughs> right. Chris, are you keeping a note of those things because the flame passed on me? I'm sorry to say. Um, yeah, it's all mechanical. That's the first thing. It is all mechanical. I've decided to kick it and you get the kick ring with it. Um, no. Put it, it this way, Dave. Aye. I'm doing note. I'm answering note until I've got my paid for because they've actually got the brass ones in stock. <laughs> uh, you're ordering, are you? 
I am. I'll go up the adverts, then you can get your order done in peace. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be back in two minutes. Don't go anywhere. Safer6.co.uk sponsors of the Haze Out. And we're back in the room here on Thursday, the 17th of October. It's the Here's Hour. And you'll notice if I... That is that is the face of a woman buying kit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I've had to leave chat because of my bandwidth. This is important. What are you buying, Chris? Well, it's this GG, this brass. And, and my bandwidth is so slow. There you go, you see. Oops. Right. Isn't that? I think I'm done. You do you sort it, are you? Yeah. There you go. I don't know. And they're, well, they're in stock. What one of the things to answer the, a couple of the questions that came up in chat? Yes, it is all mechanical. The kick ring, the kick tube is there in case you need it. In actual fact, you can get a kick in in just the the top part. Um, there's enough expansion on the telescope to allow you to do that. But there's something that's even cleverer than that and again i'll go up to to close you up you can for this because that center pole on the inside of of the uh let's take the ithaca off david and then you can see this this center pole here is adjustable by a screwdriver now let's for argument's sake and i'll make sure it's screwed right down let's say that you want to get something flush that's got a fairly short um connector and when you put it on like like that and having pushed that center part of the top cap down you might discover it's not making connection you can get a miniature screwdriver through the center of the 510 and unscrew the center pole and you can feel when it bites which means you've got that adjustment available to you all the time um, so you don't have to be constantly unscrewing and screwing all the time. You can do it that way as well, which is, I think that's uh, that's a little bit clever. Somebody's thought that through, I think. Um, so it should mean that you can get anything flush and you won't necessarily be uh, be knackered by the this won't reach syndrome, uh, which is all good. Um, like I say, I'm, I think we'll probably be coming back to this when Chris has got hers. Uh, because you were getting the brass and silver one? Absolutely. There you go. There you go. That's what we like to see. Um, 
So I wanted I wanted to talk to Keith a bit about about what you've been doing, <coughs> going out and buying stuff because you got some of the uh, the VIP RY four, didn't you? I did, and um, I haven't yet got the was it blueberry or blackberry. Have you not got it yet? No, I haven't been to the galleries. Ah right. So uh, I'm going to get some of that because it was very nice what I tried. The blueberry. Yes. Yes. Oh, you'll have to bring so, it round. Um, Here's an I idea, will. you get two bottles. <laughs> you want a bottle? Well, I don't oh, mind, if I, I like right, it. Right, If I like it, <coughs> if I like it, you never know. It, uh, I'll try and go later this week and uh, and get some in the galleries. That'll be excellent. It, uh, now, <coughs> I wanted to go back to something that we were talking about earlier on as well, because uh, you um, had got yourself, I believe, um, the... Uh, the pro tank, I gave you a pro tank before I went away on holiday, as I recall correctly, yeah? Yes. And uh, and how long did it last before we needed to change it? Oh, a few weeks. Definitely a few weeks. Five, six, something like that. Five or six weeks, yes. Well, apparently Chris has run into something similar where she needed she needed to... to uh, to change the, the coil assembly in, in her pro tank, didn't you, Chris? I did, after about three or so months of using it. It's been excellent, three, you know. Three months? Three <coughs> Aye. Now, I know there's a spare one comes with it, but yeah. I don't know what it is, but every single thing I've ever bought that has a spare coil, when you put the spare in, they're just not as good anymore. It just doesn't work the same. No, I never found so that. So I found this. I found that with Ebod, and I put the spare in, and I found the same thing. It wasn't as good. And then I thought, hang on a minute, you can recoil these, can't you? <laughs> All right, yes. And I thought, right. Yeah, I, 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 just, 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 just before you go down that road, though, Chris, I do need to tell I, everybody that that Chris and I were on a video Skype. And she was hunting about for the coil everywhere. You had every spare coil but the one for the pro tank. I couldn't find it. I mean, it's a good... You, <coughs> when you reminded me, it was in the box. It's a good big black box. Yeah. So she's looking for... But I wasn't <coughs> looking for a box, was I? No, you're looking for the coil. Sorry, I'm sorry to right. interrupt. I just... You know. It is a oh, big black is. box. Yeah. <laughs> well, she... Carry on, Chris. Well, I had a look at it and I thought, now I remember I did a, a video on how to re-wicken an EVOD. So I'll use the same technology on this because it's a bit bigger. So I pulled the, the first rubber ring off and then I thought, I've got to pull this bit out of here. Why, your books. I had to get two sets of pliers <coughs> because the bloody thing wouldn't shift. So got me pliers and I'm pulling like hell and eventually it came out. And then I got the bottom bit out and me grommet out and I thought, all ah, right, I'm not doing too badly here. So I put the new coil in. Well, then I had to get this bit back in, didn't I? Uh-huh. And it wouldn't go, right. would it? Well, there are ways and means of getting <coughs> something with a wide diameter into <coughs> a small hole, but I want you to tell everybody what you did. I did. What I've always done is the pack. I can never find a hammer when you need one, but there's always a silver bullet to hand. <laughs> so I put that little lip, edged it on the side of the desk, <laughs> and hammered. <clears throat> I went in. Mind you, it's like Vesuvius. It works like Vesuvius when you when you take a drag on it. Bloody hell. Um, so I, I've ordered a new pro tank. <laughs> Did it need many knocks to get it in, Chris? Two or three, yes. <laughs> I thought it was the matter. With that. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just is that being... what you're laughing at, Dawn? You I'm... know it's what I do. I'm just being, I'm just being <laughs> reading chat. <laughs> All right, good job. Really... <laughs> 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 Apparently there was some double entendres expressed in that little lot. 
Never. When you said it went off like Vesuvius, that just pushed us over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Not a lot of in our chat, never. No, uh, no, no, that was in what you were saying. <laughs> About, you know, whenever you kind of get it in, you resort to the silver bullet. <clears throat> uh, yes. <clears throat> Fumago ah, has Fumago has just said that a dirty mind is a joy forever. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you're, just not, you're not wrong in any way, shape or form. That's ex- Absolutely not. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, well, we're not supposed to be child friendly. We're all over 18, aren't we? <clears throat> well, I just admire our technical ability. I do, really. I'm good, yeah. Oh, yeah. hey. You're to be I made commended, this Chris. I the use of the silver bullet, you know, Keith. Y- yes, yes. It, uh, I did. Uh, yes. You know, a multi purpose thing. A multi purpose oh, yeah. tool. A silver bullet is definitely <coughs> a multi purpose tool. I'm sorry, I, was, I didn't. I was, I was giggling that much. I forgot <coughs> that I hadn't switched it. <coughs> Hum, there you go. Apparently, I crit my pants is forty tomorrow. <laughs> as long as it, as long as it doesn't happen to you, what happened to me? Somebody signed me up to Saga when I was forty. I think that was rotten of them, but never mind. It's one of those things. Um, Mister Kraken has said, "Tap it in, whip it over, and slowly slowly insert the knobbly bit." Chris, that's his uh, his methodology well, that's for doing it. That's what I did. Yes. <laughs> You, you two worry me sometimes. I'm perfectly fine and sane, you know. Really, for something like that, you need a toffee hammer, don't you? Pardon? You know, Is that a euphemism? Something small, you know. You know the old toffee hammers. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That. I agree. I, I, I <coughs> have a tendency to go for snipe nose pliers, and <laughs> and gentle wigglage. Right. I, I like gentle wigglage. I've tried the old. Uh, bro- I couldn't wiggle it. But it it's not, you don't get the direct insertion with that though, do you? <laughs> like you would with, you know, some sort of hammer. <sighs> <laughs> yes, Keith. <laughs> no, you're right. Uh, 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 yes, yes. Per- percussive attack- attacks on the object in question. Are percussive, yes. Percussive that's, attacks that's the word, on, the, yes. on the object Oh God! Screwbags just said, "Grease it up and hammer it in." Yes. <coughs> and uh, oh Lord, no. Leanna Lawless has said, "If you hammer crooked, I'm just not going there." It's just let's not. Uh, let's not. Let's not. In fact, I tell you what, let's do. Let's take a quick blast of adverts, and then <laughs> when we come back, we'll look at the iClear 30s <coughs> and how you change the wicky do hickey what's its namey thingy bob in the middle of that. We'll do that. That's likely to be a little bit safer than going down the road we're currently going. We'll be back in two minutes. Enjoy. There'll be no talking over these adverts. Sponsors of the Hayes Hour. 
and we are back in the room here on the Hayes Hour on the 17th of October. I'm Dave, this is Keith, and that's Chris still trying to pay. Are you nearly there? No. Okay. I'll do I'm not happy about this. I don't understand money bookers. Money bookers? I don't know money bookers at all. No doubt somebody will chat in chat will come up with something. In the meantime, while we wait for that to happen, um, I want to look at how... <coughs> all right, say for Sigs is saying, Chris, choose money brokers and then use your debit <coughs> or credit card the way you would do it with PayPal if you didn't have a PayPal account. Right, I'll try that. It's just a long, laborious procedure. Yeah, she reckons it takes two minutes. Not with my connection. Well, there you go. Right, well, why are you doing that? Let's get closer up your cam on the go again. And let's look at these iClear 30Ss and how you change the wick assembly in such a beastie. And it's actually a lot simpler than you would think. I'll need to empty this one. You can tell it gets used. So I'll just take its top off. Just as well I've got my cloth. That's the uh, the one thing I should I, everybody needs to know. When we're working in here, um, it gets incredibly hot under these lights. And you end up with very sweaty palms and fingers. For all sorts of reasons. And I'm blaming chat for most of them, to be honest. So I'll just suck the juice out. How are you managing, Chris? I'll get there. There's a little spot here for comment, and I don't want to put the one I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yes. Okay, so that's that's the juice now out of the iClear 30S, and I'm going to bring the snot cloth in. This is the one that I use all the time. It's why it's got juice stains on it. And the way you change that, um, the bit up the middle, is dead simple. <coughs> really this bottom section unscrews like so and then it just pulls out in one piece that's it none of this comes to bits that i can see it may well do if somebody's got more time than i have to start actually getting at it and trying to get it apart i think you probably could get in and do a recoil and re-wick on it if you wanted to but these will be the bits that you buy I've not seen any for sale yet but then that just slots back in and as you can see the base is keyed to take the right way let's just zoom in on that so you can see now that I'm covered in juice why not all right there we are mega super duper close you up your camera I've got to keep my fingers really still it just pulls out and you can see the keying there and then slots back in keys up so you put your new one in and screw the base back on like so and then basically that's it you're ready to go so ready to refill and that. rock on eh? even i could do that even you could do that keith it's as easy as that it does look like a car though. Daz is saying that they'll be uh, they'll be shipping from Inican within six days. So within, yes, Aaron Collins, Dave does like sliding it in. Um, and inside the inner tube, it's just a dual coil clear or looks exactly like the iClear 30. It does indeed. How that goes in there, I do not know. I've not taken it to bits. That's as far as I've got with it. Um, well, somebody was asking, so I said I would do my best to cover it unfortunately it wasn't Stanton Glance that was answering asking the question which is a great shame but never mind N Lamental are you winding me up he's just asked DD do you like the flange P-H-L-A-N-G-E the flange I I I need to know what the flange Miles what is the flange so was the it, car engine got a flange? It's got grommets and sprockets and all kinds of things, but yes, it's got a flange. 
on you. You see, I'm clever, me. Yes, but you see, I don't know whether I'm being wound up. I didn't know that you that you spelt I've it that it. way. I've done it. I've paid well, for it. You have, have you? Thank you, Daz from Safer Six. Thank you, Daz from Safer Six. That, that's the measure of Daz from Safer Six. Good, isn't he? He is. He'll help anybody do anything, even if it's not on his site. I think he's brilliant. I've always said that. Absolutely. Is that flange with a bit... Oh, God. Did you say PH? Well, yes, I'm assuming it's the name of a mod, but I don't know. Um... Well, don't ask me to look it up. It'll take us two hours. You don't want to start Googling flange, Chris. You really don't. No. With a PH or an F. No. Absolutely right. Yes, flange is the flat part of the bottom of the insert that prevents it from sliding through the tank. And Mr. Kraken <coughs> says, Try, don't, don't go to the Urban Dictionary either, Chris. Because okay. I know what flange means in those terms. I absolutely, I cer certainly do. I certainly do. So there you go. That That's... That, it's as easy as that. And like you say, we, oh God. I'm going to stop reading chat. Stop reading chat, Dave. I can't see it from here. So Vince Brindles asks, do I like it NDD? What is it that I'm supposed to like? If it's flange, yes. If it's the VTR, yes. If it's the iClear 30, yes. Yes. I like all three. Not all together though. It's too risky for your clean mind. Maybe say I can't see it. Mm. I'm not. I'm going to get far too distracted. <coughs> just far too distracted, and we've, you we've got. You better not look at it. No, I'll not. We've got fifteen minutes to go. Um, back to back to what we were talking about, and I did see. I wanted to look again at the Aspire. Now this. Oh my. Sorry to interrupt you, I've got mine as well. What, can I give my update as well? Yes, you can go first if you like. <coughs> right, well I'll go first then, because I don't want to get interrupt my stitch. <coughs> when I got mine, I wasn't keen. And I said to you I didn't like the taste of it, blah mm -hmm. blah Now, all I did was I changed the drip tip on mine. And I put a long drip tip on. And the difference that made, now it could be purely coincidental, but I've been using it steady now. What is it, two weeks, Dave? Um, when was it we did Hi. the, uh, when was it we did the, the thing with BBC Newcastle? Uh, it's got to be two weeks ago. Two, two or three weeks, yes. Yeah, and it hasn't stopped producing. It's just been really good, and the taste of it is really, really nice. So it, it now gets a thumbs up for durability. Why should the, the drip tip make that difference? Well, I don't know. There's, there's the question. <coughs> what, the, the, the thing is, is the distance between where the coil is and where your lips are can yeah. be varied by the size of your drip yeah. tip. And I'm assuming that the way Chris appreciates the flavour most that extra distance has just allowed it to cool down a touch right yeah right that's right. It. i mean try that um i've been carrying the aspire around as a what would you call it uh not a backup it's kind of when you want a quick blast of something that you know is really going to deliver and you don't have to faff with it um mm. that's that's what i've been using it for I like that. Yes. Mm. Now this is, um, it's a different kind of coil assembly is this. You fill it from the bottom rather than the top. Mm. Um, but the coil itself, the coil assembly is sitting in the juice. And it's only the pressure between the coil and the centre pipe that stops the juice from coming up the mouthpiece. But it's, right. pro it's properly sealed off and everything like that. Um, mm. And it just seems to work. It, I my feeling on it is it takes a little while to bed in it takes a little while for the juice to find its its true path if you like yeah and then it takes a little while and it's only a little while for the coil and everything else to get sorted and, and whatever it is to to settle down after that it's a flavor machine it's a smoke now uh, is that an ry6 in this yeah well it's it, it it's coming 
completely different in my opinion to what we've just looked at it, it, it's a much more rounded softer flavor when you say rounder and softer is is the less flavor more flavor uh i would have said more flavor okay and what about the uh the vapor production on it good you're liking it mm. i think I, oh god scree yeah uh, that that's that coming so as a, a completely different experience in terms of the uh the juice it is it is actually quite <coughs> amazing that you can get air juice whatever juice and it can taste and i'll tell you now for a certain fact it tastes different in here in the aspire which i like from the way it tastes completely in the gg setup that i've got there from the way it tastes in the kraken that i've got there from the way it tastes in the scrape i mean i only use ry6 it's just about yeah. all i use and in each of these different devices it tastes slightly different the, the overall underlying flavor is there like beef you know yeah not that it tastes like beef but if you haven't anything with beef that beefiness is there but the flavor changes depending on how it's cooked and it's exactly the same with it i mean to me it, it it it's not as strong in there it's smoother more rounded uh, i could inhale more okay um so it's less harsh yes yes You're that's not a good as, way of putting it not getting less as much harsh. of a throat hit yes yes i would agree with you i get a, a much higher throat hit from a genesis atomizer than i would from this but as you correctly surmise you can get a really good lungful of this down mm. before you get the nick ups mm. how, how would you would you agree with that chris i would have to start with but I've been using it a lot because, as you know, I always keep two devices on the go so that I've got a change of flavour. Um, and this one at the moment's got a, a sort of fruity type flavour in. And the flavour has improved, but also the throat it has improved. Right. Oh. So, so the, and I mean, this is with daily use. And we're now into two weeks, which is quite good, you know? Yes. So I am quite impressed with it in the fact that it keeps getting better. That's, I mean, it, to begin with, you know, I didn't have the time of day for it. Oh, you didn't? Because it didn't produce instantly. Yes. But and I, and, it, it, and I did say patience. I haven't got any. I oh, know that. But I did have a drip tip portion. Of yes, it, and, and that's, that's. I thought, give it a try with another yeah. drip tip. There's actually there's been a few questions have come in from chat, and I'm I'm getting a renewed respect for Savenu. Um, I'm going to try and handle them. Lamental has said, DD, do you find the Decang RY6 tastes different from different vendors? If it's marked up as Decang, it ought to be Decang. It should taste the same. If it's tasting different, they're doing something to it. I would say is the first one that I can get back to. Um, but da -da -doom. Bob Walker said the iClear 30 gives better flavour than the normal Vision Clear, Clear Rose and Cart Rose, but not as good as a rebuildable. I, I think it's kind of down to personal taste. They thought they all take, taste different, and sometimes what's better for ones. So, presumably, that was the same source of RY6 that you used in both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Devices. Yeah, yeah. It's all the from, same. Yeah. All from Vapor World, right. which brings me on to Vince Brindle saying, Does DD get his from Vapor World? Yes, I do. Um, I usually buy by the litre. Um, RY High Five does indeed have my picture on it because I invented it. It was me that, that drew up the recipe for RY High Five. Um, and that, how long ago is that, Chris? Must be 18 months. That's a while because two some years. of the cats now oh, watch two. longer than 18 two. months. Oh, that's two yeah. years. At least two years. At least two years. At yeah. least two years. Um, what does dench mean? Very boring. Has said chat is being well denched tonight. I don't know what that means. Uh, neither do denched. I. Uh, where are we at? Pa oh! Paula, Paula can't get Decang RY6 last time I spoke. Oh no. 
No, no, that's not nice. That's good. No, that's not good. Right, we'll have to sort that out then. I need to find, I've got to get a source of RY6. I can't do without that. Unless I find something else that I like. Oh dear, that's going to be me tasting juices again then. Ah, uh, could be dense with the drunken slur, yes, screw bag of Custard. <laughs> dense with the drunken slur. Danish? Paula oh, has our Y6. Or Danish, <laughs> aye. Are you Danish? That's because they say pish, don't they? Pish. Pish, uh -huh. aye. I'm just going outside for a pish. I found a tree. Uh -huh. That's oh, how you, that's how you tell the front from the back of a tree. <laughs> Right. Uh, that's how you tell the front from the back of a tree. Nobody ever has a uh, push up the front of a go. tree. Mark Shaw's come up with the answer. Dench, Dench is street, street for, for good. For good. Oh, brilliant. There you go. Well, I've said it before. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Our chat is the best on the planet. There's, there's no argument about that. And uh, Mr. Kraken, I use 36. Is what I use. And if there's some still kicking about in the fridge by the late, let me know how much you want, mate. Uh, preferably all glycerin, although I'll take 50 50 pg vg. Uh, oh no, no bulk buy, just 50 ml bottles. Oh my god! And apparently, yes, it's street, and we've got that coming from Mark Shaw. It's like it's well dense in it, blood. Me and my boys in the pussy and stuff like that. I said posse, posse before Chad gets a start. Um, so, yes, these aspires, now that you've got yours broken in, coming mm. back to the plot. Are there um, a device that you would recommend to somebody just making the start into next stage? Absolutely. Um, it's, it's like, you know, you were talking about the iClear 30s. When I started with the iClear 30s, I absolutely adored them. Um, I stuck with the iClear 30s. Now, Sab, she went back to the i16s, the one before it. Yes. Love that. Ron, my husband, he likes, prefers the i16s. But after trying that i30s, is it, that you've got on the VTR? Yes. Wow. That really was wow. Yes. So those are sort of the biggies to me, and the Pro Tank is another biggie. Yes. But the price of this, you know, it, it's half the price. Um, uh, yes, I would be saying to somebody, get one of these in as a starter, because this is really good. I would say to them, you have to stick with it. It takes a bit of time to break in. But yeah, I would recommend it. Indeed. Well, there you are. You've heard it from the cat's mouth, and that's better yeah. than the horse's and mouth. And I don't do that easily. She doesn't. <laughs> she do and, I, and, and actually, I haven't put her on the spot, because she did Skype me up a couple of days ago to say, I think it's amazing. And she doesn't often do that, so it's high praise indeed from Chris. And I can't say I disagree with her either. Um, just a quick reminder of what's going to be coming up over the course of the okay. next week. Um, straight after this show, DJ Bobo will be spinning his wheels of steel across on RY4 Radio at ry4radio.com and get into the UKV chat as well if you want to take part in his competitions and daft carryings on that he's doing because it's on your shoulder, Keith. It's parrot just there all right thank you um so ry4radio.com straight after the here's our finishes he'll be just getting wound up around about now and, and getting himself psyched up he'll have his onesie on we're going to get photographs of that for next week it's a um, very nice onesie very well, nice yes absolutely in fact i've uh, i've seen the site he got it from and i'll bring you pictures of somebody else in, in the onesie that does will be wearing tonight next week um on sunday Dave's tackle box will be back with Dave at the helm doing what Dave does, tackling his box. On Monday, 9 o'clock, we've got Gary and the mod master, that is Mark, doing modding, because that's what they do in Tin Your Tip. And you should watch that. I'm glued to it. I learn stuff every week. Um, and that's not easy for a Noel like me to say. I'm telling you, but I do. It's, it's excellent stuff. Tune in for that. Tuesday, we'll have Mark Green back uh, with vapor scene followed by the german version of uh, vt talk called de talk oh, it's actually the german version of team talk really de talk will be back on tuesday night as per usual for the german speakers and for those of you that don't speak german i will f r y for this is too many words 
RY4 Radio will have Rob, we think. Then Wednesday it's VT Talk and we're back into the whole thing again. But don't forget Friday night, tomorrow night in other words, Tim will be bringing you the completely uncensored, unleashed and non-PC RY4 Radio Show. Don't forget to tune in for that. In. The lock-in. You want to be there for the lock-in. There's no the matter with the lock-in, is there? Um, so it only ref it only only remains for me to say thank you to Keith and Chris for joining me yet again tonight here in the, the revamped studio, as it were. It's more comfortable like this, isn't it? It is, yes. A bit more roomy, you yes. get feet out. Um, yes, you can. So, do, you, do you think it's more comfortable, Chris? I do, because I can sit here and just do a bit crook. Crotchet and peace, it's lovely. I'm lovely. She's been, sitting, she's been sitting crocheting away all night. Have you uh, finished that hat yet? Nearly, I finished the gloves though. Oh, well, that's all right. Oh, yeah. gloves as well. Oh, don't don't show us, you might be watching and it's meant to be a surprise, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what my daughter thinks of my handiwork. She'll be going, oh, God. Like that, is it? <laughs> not, not having to wear the stuff she makes again. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Take, take heart, Sav. At least it's not a swimming costume, pet. <laughs> I remember those days only too well. Hey, thanks to both of you for joining me tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. It's always a delight and a pleasure and a privilege to share an hour with you on a Thursday night. Until we see you next time, from all of us here, have a very good night, a very good weekend. Vape on, vape hard, and don't let the bastards grind you down. Night, night. 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 night, night.